one. I got two boxes. Audio savings. I got two boxes. What do you got? I got two boxes. I got one here. Oh, I'll focus. Oh, don't do that. I have another one here. Wow. I guess we're going to have a, a double unboxing. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you're enjoying yourselves. As always, as a wedding DJ, always looking for some cool new stuff. If you haven't done so already, please click the like the button. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure also you hit a, the subscribe button and also the bell icon to make sure you know when we're getting stuff in. Well, plus also I have the DJ Roundtable show if you haven't seen that already. The DJ Roundtable show, we talk about stuff like this, gear and other things. Um, I always do unboxings. Everything I do is so far stuff I buy with my own money. For my business, and this is stuff I will use. Uh, I see a lot of cool things out there. And audio savings. If you know who this is, then you're ahead of the game. If you don't know who this is, audio savings is the parent company of Rockville. And they also have a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, other than Rockville products. But they... I have the Rockville uplights, the rock wedges and stuff. And I actually have enjoyed um, those lights. So, yeah, it, it's one of the things that um, they – just try and move some, a couple things here out of the way. I can put this down nicely so I'm not tear-tottering it. <laughs> All right. Let's pause this, and I'll be right back one second. All right, I switch cameras. So again, you see the audio savings here. It's always this is going to be a hard one to do. I may have to go back to the original top camera. Let's do that. You know, I try to do this on my desk, and it's always a, a fun thing trying to do stuff like this. And of course, I'm grabbing the bigger of the two boxes. This right here, and you can see. I have not broke the seal on this. This is all fresh. UPS man came here today. He dropped us off. Thank you, UPS. Was tracking it since it left, since it left New York. And this is uh, one of the things always great looking at is how stuff is packed. And tons and tons and tons. Of the bubble wrap or airbags. Now, why could they put two in the same box? I have no idea. What are here beeping? Ah. Move that out of the way. I'm out of room my desk. <laughs> ah. Well, this is one of the cool things they have going on right now. A free Rockville t-shirt. This is going to the boss, uh, Tracy. So she'll get this shirt. Um, she'll probably make it into a night shirt. So that'll be a cool thing. All right. In this box, it's a box in a box. Oh, my God. It is one of these best strip 60s in white. Let me get rid of this. You hear my phone chirping, and you can see the other Rockville. I have two of them. Two Rockville strips. 
I got two of them to uh, work on my facade. Um, yeah, hold on, I'm going to change cameras again because I got a smaller box. All right. Now we have, I hate a little cr junk and crap. Mouse moved way over there. Uh, all right. Fairly easy, hassle free packaging, it says. Now, just scoring the top. Never want to go really deep. Just breaking the plastic, basically. And uh, down in the comments below, tell me what you guys think of Rockville stuff. You know, again, it's is it on par to some of the other stuff? It, I think it has a, a decent quality product. There are better products out there. Yeah, my stairs are, are much better. But the thing is that, you know, it's like anything. It's price point. This is, you know, not as expensive as a stair strip. You know, the, I got two of these for less than half the price of one a stair strip. So, uh, warning, watch this video before first use. There's a QR code to scan. So, it tells you, watch this video before use. And, of course, the ever so important owner's manual. Always read your owner's manuals. I'm going to switch back to the other camera because now it's a down view. All right. There's a lot of white here. So the camera is battling the white. Uh, <laughs> so they're, they come, these units come in two colors. They come in white and black. I got two white ones. Um, I like the white color. Uh, the remote control. I have tons of these remotes for Rockville. It's the same general remote control. Good thing to have. Uh, batteries are easy to replace on it. It's always good to have a few of these remotes. But I have the same one for the uh, uh, for the Rockville rock wedges. Uh, we have these are metal. These got to be the side, the feet. Here at metal. And an IEC cord, which if you're a DJ, you've been a DJ for a while, you probably have tons of these. I do. Many different lengths. But it's always good to keep that. And let's see here. This is the antenna for the Wi-Fi um, based DMX system. And the 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 Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi DMX system is two point four gigahertz, so it's their own closed proprietary DMX system, which is same as the Rock wedges. Now I don't know if this will work with the Rock wedges. I'm gonna find that out in the field. Um, it's one of the things that I don't know about that. I know it will work with other of these lights that I do know, but will work with the Rock wedges. I will find out soon. Let's see here. What else we got here? Uh, knobs, washers. So these are important things to have. And I'm going to lift this out. Move that out of the way. Now I'm going to pause. Uh, should I pause this? I got foam here on the ground. <laughs> I got remotes. I got everything. All right. Let's, let's switch cameras. All right, we switched cameras back to. I got a smudge in the camera. Hold on. 
I think I might have to get a new camera because there's a smudge on the lens on this side. I even tried some alcohol, so I don't know. I guess. We'll go further into it. But this is the base of the light. You have your infrared remote control sensor right on top up here. So the light would be in this sequence here. On the back, you have just like the Rockville rock wedges, you have your DMX switch here, and it's going to show you a color, match a color up with another one. You can have one as, as the control, and the rest of them will follow. The back of the unit, which has a nice display here. I haven't turned it on yet. So you have battery on off, power on off, wireless DMX on or off. So that is nice. You can turn off that wireless DMX. It does have standard DMX right there. So you don't run a cable. You can. And then it has your IEC and as well as another outlet. So you could daisy chain a couple of these lights together plug in YIEC and plug in a couple of these, and it will tell the owner's manual how many is a max. Usually they say, like, you know, four or five or six of these because they don't draw a lot of power, but you don't want to overheat, you know, this is not designed to draw a lot of ampage, so you don't want to draw a lot of amps. So this is pretty nice and pretty cool. The antenna... Gotta love the bags. The antenna would go. Now, the only thing I see, depending on how you store stuff, I would probably take this off, put this in some place that won't get hurt. So I would probably would take that off for transport and put it on right before I would use it. Um, I know you can get replacement ones on Amazon fairly easy and cheap. I'm sure you can get replacement ones uh, from Rockville. That's one of the reasons why I do like Rockville stuff. You can call them up, order replacement parts, batteries, and so forth and so on. So let's see here. Turn battery on. Oh, it's got some power. Power on. Oh, and this I did not know. This is an actual L L E C L C D screen that's color too. So it's not just so let's see here. You got DMX. Yeah, you got a color screen there. You guys see that? It has a nice color built-in screen. That's really nice. Uh I wish I had that on the uh on the rock or rock wedges because sometimes you're like okay code number this means that um turn around so i can read it uh you have dmx you have shows sound for sound active color uh set and help and when you click up menu up or down it highlights it with a red box and i'm going to go to color Enter. Uh, let's see here. We've got custom color and stagnant color. I'm going to go stagnant color. Um, color one is red, green, blue, white, amber, UV. And it starts going through colors. If it's like, and I if I remember correctly, it's very similar to the rock wedges. It has 32 colors. Yep, 32 colors. Let's see, 32. So this right here should give a nice amount of light for what you're doing. And again, again you can see the blue. Uh, that's white. That's amber. That's UV. So you want to make stuff glow. And then they start going to stuff. That's like a gold color. The camera there is not picking up as well. That's a, a violet So, take some pictures and video of it and put it on social media. 
Go back to menu. Sound active, sound mode one. Four sound active modes. Mic's right here. And it has it actually has little sound meters uh tell you on the colors. Those that's strobes. That stays on. That strobes each color. And I think I had the Rockville, yeah. Every time they, they change and they fade out. So they'll hit one of the colors. And they'll change color. And they'll do that at the beat. I'm just tapping the back of the microphone. I'm not doing anything crazy here. So they get out of this hit menu. It goes back to the main menu. And then shows. What's that? Auto color. Auto strobe. Auto sudden. Auto fade. So it's going to fade between colors. Get brighter in that color. And then fade down into another color. So it's going to go through all the colors. This is going to change color. So it's going to bounce. Whereas the other one fades from one color to another. So it's natural transition. It's telling me a battery meter on here, 100%. It tells me IR is available. And it tells me that, uh, well, it says it's, it's receiving a signal, which I don't know how because the other light's in the <laughs> in the box. But uh, I see a little, like a cell phone, it tells you a you know, uh, signal. Probably pick up the Wi-Fi for the uh, internet here. But, yeah. Um, I mean... It has a help. Let's go to help. Uh, name six color version 5.4. DMX channels, 10 channels. So you can change that around, I'm sure. I'm sure there's more than 10 channels on this, or maybe 10 channels. I didn't I gotta read the owner's manual. Runtime so far four seconds. Uh user time. I got three minutes. So <laughs> again, this is brand new. And I'm going to wireless DMX, turn it on. It's flashing red, it's looking for its friend, turned it off. Oh, the light's off. So power off, battery off. So that's all turned off now. Take a second or two for the indication light to turn off. So it's going to wind down. Uh, the battery in this is pretty large. Um, it weighs... It weighs a good amount of weight. It's not as light as the um, rock for rock wedges. But again, you have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six lights. A rock roll rock wedge has three together and a triangle. This has six going across the top. And each one is, you know, uh, should be a chip on board uh, L uh, LED uh, chip. <coughs> oh, man. Allergies have been bothering me the past couple of days, so I apologize. Uh, but yeah, it's it looks pretty cool. Let's just see. I mean, even at the feet, it stands pretty nice and tall. I like this so far. Again, I'm gonna be using this with um, a facade, I have a white facade. So I'm gonna pause this. So I'm gonna be using this with the white facade. Uh, I have a couple weddings coming up that are a little bit a kind of a theme to wedding. Uh, I think one of them was not for a while is going to be have a little winter elements to it. So I'm gonna use the white facade, do this with like a blue or a light blue kind of give that feeling. Uh, I'm going to see if it comes through the front of the facade. If not, maybe I bounce the light off the facade or have, just have it behind me on the wall to have that feel to it. Uh, 
And again, it does do regular DMX. So if you wanted to run this through software, I'm sure a lot of software out there. I know some guys use uh, sound switch and stuff like that. I do have a uh, Chauvet's uh, software uh, and it's, it's on a computer. I've used it. Uh, I use it for my moving heads more than I use it for lighting, but that's another thing you can add in there. If you want a dramatic look. DMX is way better than the sound active. Uh, I know I have friends who love sound active. They hit one button and they rock and roll with it. And I say, God bless. But the thing is that uh, having that uh, option so you can actually customize it is nice. The standard colors, the 32 colors, I know in the rock wedges, um, I can get some pretty cool colors with them. There is a manual here, so you can actually manually each individual diode to change a color so you can uh, do it. You can look online and see for color, what the color numbers are. Um, you can find those numbers. Uh, Astera, actually, the cool thing with them, you can actually go into a, a book, a color book, and it has a code. You put that code in there, and Astera unlikely knows what that code means for light. So it's like, it's <laughs> Astera is much more, um, much more, robust than a Rockville, but for Rockville for the price, again, this, this is one of the things, you know, you want something good and it works well. Rockville, again, I've been very impressed with them. I know um, Rockville does, you know, some people talk bad about them, but I don't have a lot of problems with them. I, I, I have good stuff with them. Uh, they sell parts like I said before, you can call them up, you can get the part information Go to the parts store, buy parts, buy batteries, buy part, buy this, buy that. Uh, they'll sell you stuff, no problem. Uh, their customer service has always been very good to me. Uh, I can't really say anything bad about Rockville. Um, other than the only thing is that uh, I just wish, you know, um, that they had uh, a couple more options on transmitting. I, I wish this was a repeating uh, light that had a uh, transceiver in it, so it repeated uh, the signal. So you can link multiple lights together, and all the lights worked on the same frequency. So again, I don't know. I have to try it out. I know the remote control is the same remote control as the rock wedges. I will grab the rock wedge uh, and see about plugging it with this and see if this will receive a signal from a rock wedge, see if both, I put them both on the same uh, channel. Um, rock wedges, I usually put, I, like, I, I don't know why, I like the purple channel. Just, I guess, it's the first channel I come to I like. It's like, oh, okay, I do a purple. Um, but, you know, they have multiple channels on there, and this has looks like it has multiple channels to see they sync up and they work together. If they do, that might be a cool thing. If not, no biggie. You know, again, I have two of these. Both of them are going to do some lighting. Um, this is going to go behind me to give more presence of light from behind and... Uh, again, to give a unique look, as long as I have a wall behind me. Uh, <laughs> and also to kind of give a um, a pleasant feel to the eyes, not blind people. I do not like to blind people, and I do not want to do that. So with that said, again, if you made it this far in, thank you. And make sure, please, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon. Make sure you click the thumbs up. Do all that fun stuff. If you got any comment, critique, criticism, comfoolery, or anything else you want to say, please say it down below in the chat, in the you know comment section, whatever you want to call it down there. Leave information. And I hope you guys have fun. Other than that, you should, again, if you follow me on social media, the white, the, the this is so white, the light is just bouncing off of it. <laughs> and I'm, I have a black shirt on, as always. Uh, <laughs> Again, if you uh, get a chance to follow us on social media, you'll see some pictures with these uh, soon. So other than that, guys, hope you're enjoying yourself. Thank you again for tuning in. See you guys later.